Today we're going to show how to verify that a Thermotel model TA2 is still within calibration. When a TA2 leaves Magnetrol, it is already pre-configured and calibrated for the specific customer application. We consider the calibration a permanent one, but often customers want to have a way to check the calibration in the field so they don't have to send the unit back to the factory. To meet customer needs, Magnetrol has developed a procedure to verify instrument calibration at the customer site. To do this, low flow and high flow conditions are simulated. A similar practice takes place here at the factory before a TA2 gets delivered. This establishes baseline values that can be used for comparison at a later date. These baseline values are stored in the TA2 as well as located in the calibration certificate that gets sent with every order. These procedures should be conducted at room temperature. The first test is a low flow validation. During the test, the heater power is set and the temperature difference between the RTDs is measured. To do this, wrap the sensor tip so no airflow can flow past the pins. From the display, you'll see the run mode. Press the down arrow and enter into the diagnostic section. Scroll down until you see the low cal validate. Once you enter into the low-cal validate, the test begins to run. Optionally, if your TA2 has heart, you can use a heart handheld or packedware to complete these steps. In a short time, the temperature difference will stabilize and the two temperatures will show on the display. One is the original temperature difference between the sensors as it left the factory and the other is the new temperature difference measured. If the values are within one and a half degrees, the unit is still within calibration. Some variance in temperature difference is given for variations of ambient temperature as well as test methods. The user can also store the value obtained rather than keeping the original. The second procedure is a high flow validation. Place the TA2 vertically in a water bath. An easy way to do this is to hold the TA2 in place with a test stand and let the water settle. Go into Diagnostics and High Cal Validate. The heater power is once again set and the temperature difference is measured. The same steps can be completed as in the Low Cal Validate to verify calibration. These tests show if the RTDs still measure the same amount of heat transfer at simulated low and high flow conditions. Since thermal mass flow measurement is based on heat transfer, it is a true calibration test. All of these features are included at no additional charge without the need to purchase special tools or equipment. Magnetrol, a global leader in level and flow measurement for over 80 years. Visit us at magnetrol.com.